Fox vs. TSM, LCS, Week 2, Day 1. So, they are following the new LEC priority. So in LEC, people started banning Urgot and giving over Aatrox, or picking Urgot over Aatrox, and TSM kind of followed that too. They ban out the Urgot, give over Aatrox, pick two comfort picks, or three comfort picks, and they're one, two, three, Irelia, Lissandra, Ezreal. They pick the Orin. I'm not sure if they played Jace bottom. They ban out the Syndra Zoe, so two picks that are good for Phoenix into the Lissandra. And they ban out Alstar Braum. So that does make me think that it is an orange support. They go for the TK. Orange should be good into the TK. These are all comfort picks. That's insane. Rise, another comfort pick for Phoenix. And Lee Sin. Okay. So they do go Nocturne. I do like the Nocturne because they have the Ezreal. And then they have this powerful Irelia Lissandra split pusher. So I really is going to be bottom. Lissandra has the pressure to TP bot whenever she wants. Nocturne can be top or bottom. They don't know. So the Nocturne does make a lot of sense as long as they can maintain mid control with the Ezreal. If they fall behind and the Ezreal doesn't have control of mid, the Nocturne is going to not help them get back to vision at all. Red starts both sides. I really unleashed, so they do know Nocturne started top. Both of them doing red Krugs. Nocturne does clear his Raptors. Lee Sin goes to Crab. Lee Sin is forcing a map split, so that does seem like it's in favor for TSM. I'm not sure how the really Aatrox lane goes, but. Pretty sure if I really gets farmed, he's perfectly fine. Won't be wanting the Aatrox. And bot lane, the Ezreal's getting pushed in early anyway. So as long as Sven doesn't lose too many plates bot lane, Sven and Smoothie, then the lane swap should be good. Rush shows mid. They do burn through a lot of Bjergs and Svenna, and then they get rise of base. So the rise up tier. First Dragon Ocean. Nocturne's at his respawn of Krugs. That's pretty standard. He's going to go to his Raptors too. He needs his fast level 6. So Sandra has to base. So they it's on a ward. The ward was just placed. So they know they're on this dragon, but Lissandra had to base. So they have a really small window. Early Ocean. That was nice. I'll say a little risky. Maybe Bjergsen could have had a super aggressive TP, but he's only level 5. So. So TSM take the opportunity to get Vision topside, Deep Pink, take the Gromp, Lee Sin goes bot side. It's still a map split. Oh, that was a disaster. So one for two. Aatrox get for, gets first blood. He has two parts of the Ghost Blade. Yeah, that is not what they wanted. They really didn't get the kill either. Damn. So I'm not too sure how this 2v2 goes. I would think that it's Lee Sin Aatrox favored. Seems like Nocturne would just get blown up by either of them. So Phoenix roams up top. They do get the kill. Lissandra's going to get a lot of plates mid. Ooh, Phoenix should just run mid. And he's basing? Okay. So I want to see how many plates Lissandra actually gets because 
Phoenix is giving up some waves for this. And it's not like anyone on his team is absorbing them. They're just straight up going away. So that's two and a half plates for the Lissandra. That's 320 gold plus two waves of XP. So Phoenix got the kill, but Lissandra got more gold than Phoenix. So I really was really scared now. They saw the Nocturne, I think. So they're walking in now. So I do like this control from Fox. It's a, an Infernal. Oh, they're just starting it. I don't like starting it and letting TSM through that choke. Let's go back. So Aatrox will get first move here. Look at top lane. So Aatrox is running down. If they play this slow. So now, so I get why they're starting it. They should keep the HP kind of high and just play together. Because they're not going to get shit on 4v4. Especially before Aatrox is here. And Aatrox is really close now. But look how they're kind of splitting up. Okay, Lee Sin just gets one shot by Lissandra Nocturne. They just need to be together. Like, forget this Fire Dragon. Like, keep it at, like, 2.5k HP. Play over here. Aatrox is coming first. Oh, this should have been so favorable. Do they get the return kill? No. I like the call, but the execution was just not there. So they are getting a lot of plates bottom. Diving mid. Are they dead? What? Oh my god. Phoenix Rush, both those players are so aggressive. It's actually kind of funny to have them as a duo. Oh, they blow up. I feel like this TP could be bad. Oh, Lee Sin was not close enough. This is kind of intense though. Like, Lee Sin does red. Say so he stops doing these Krugs and runs over, like there's a fight bottom. If he skips the Krugs and like the comms are going to go in bottom, so he runs bottom and he's there for this TP. I feel like that's kind of a game ending mistake for TSM. Like they don't know where Lee Sin is. He's really just TPing in and hoping that Lee Sin's not close. And Lee Sin is kind of close, but barely not close enough. That's that's a huge risk. It pays off though, but So Jay's TP's bottom, as you'll TP top, they start Rift Herald right away. So what I like about this, so in LEC Rogue did a similar thing where they swapped top, but what they did was they stayed to try to get as much damage turret as turret damage as possible. And then after they ran out of creeps, then they went to the Rift Herald. That's too late. You can't do both. So TSM, TP top. They know they have numbers advantage top side. Jace is not here. Jace is bot lane. So they know they get this Rift Herald. They just need to be together and start the Rift Herald and finish it before the Jace can be here. So Lee Sin's kind of trolling. He walks in anyway. One for one. Looks like a two for one. So yeah, Jace is not here. This is not, you can't check this if you're Lee You know they're on it. They're not just TPing top for no reason. They do get the bot turret, but it would be nice to get the bot turret and not die top. Just give up the Herald. They swapped, you didn't see it coming. You got the first turret, they got the Herald. That's what happens. And then they kill the Rise. Looks like a TK ulti. 
And they got his cleanse. That's really big. So Rise no cleanse. For this Inferno coming up. Grixion has to base. Yeah, there we go. So they're not greening and pushing the mid wave. They need to base and get on the map for this Inferno. So who gets mid control? The Ezreal's already there. So Sven kind of saving the day from these late bases. Pushing mid lane. Fox is kind of afraid to walk in. I'm a little scared for them. They go for the Irelia. So I do like this call. TSM did have options. They could have just said, fuck it, give up the Irelia, take Fire Dragon. But they go to the Irelia, save him. Do they win? Pretty even chunks, but TSM burned a lot of ultis. So if it is a full reset, I do expect Fox to get this dragon. Although Ezreal is going to be so annoying here. Alessandra, wait, who just TP'd? Oh no, he, oh, he TK ulted the Lissandra back in. That was so smart. So TSM's call here was nice. They say, okay, Ezreal, you can stay. Ezreal, you can stay. We're going to TK alt D Lissandra in. And Nocturne steals the dragon. Okay. So a 50-50. I do like the way that TSM like communicated around it. It's very obvious that they knew that they could stall it out, go for 50 50 with Nocturne while TK's ulting Lissandra back in. And if there's a fight, then they know they'd win it because Lissandra's here. Although I don't know if they'd win that one, just seemed like a 50 50. Yeah, Aatrox still had ulti. Okay, so... Want to see some macro and vision control. There hasn't been a whole lot of it this game. We finally have stable mid-game barons coming up soon. No one's top lane for Fox, so I do want CTSM not go for a play right now. They don't know where Lee Sin is. They see Lee Sin now. They don't know where Rise is. They see Rise now. You can kind of see the vision from TSM is leaning towards bot side, so they are going for this play bottom. The Nocturne's trailing the Irelia. Sneaks in the bush. Did he move up again? This is the key. Got his flash. Oof, that's so deep. Oh, this is a disaster. He just got the GA too. So Nocturne can't really team fight without GA. They do s no Nocturne dies. Cassandra dies. Boy for O. Can they base and run to Baron in time? No TK alt. I think they can, but they don't go for it. They should have won for that. Oh my god. Wait, that was that was the game. They had enough time to base. Alright, look, they kill everyone. Irelia and Ezreal are gonna be there. That's it. It's 5v2. Fucking base and run to run to Baron. No TK alt, no Lissandra TP, no Nocturne ulti. They'd be at Baron like now. That's that's their Baron. All right. Well.
So well played by Solo. It was definitely too deep. Once they burned the ulti and flash from Aatrox, they should count it as a win. God, I'm so upset they didn't do Baron here. They got four kills. They have a Rise. They have a Jace. This Baron dies fast. Space and go to Baron. Alright, so Dragon coming up. They have the Ezreal. Fox does clear the mid wave, but Solo kind of ends himself. I do like this positioning by Fox though, like they have position advantage. Oh my god, it's really messing with my headset right now. One second. Okay. So yeah, look at the position. Mid lane. They get this wave. They can't really go through here. They are poking Rush really hard. But what is Aatrox doing? If Aatrox just pops alt and goes ham, maybe. But you're not poking here. He just gets locked up and dies instantly. So yeah, another dragon to TSM. I still want to see strong side lane gameplay from TSM. They had, and for that last play, they had everything they could have needed. They had Ezreal TK with Pryo around mid. They have Lissandra TP. They have Nocturne. They have Irelia who's farmed. Like, what more can you ask for to set up a good side lane play? So they're scared of... I'm scared of Ezreal poke now. They get mid push. They should be able to get this bar this vision top side. So sneaky pink ward. I mean, what is Rush doing? I mean, he has GA, so maybe he feels safe, but... Look at the map. Like, your rise was just showing top. You have no idea where Lissandra is. I really I could be here. Aatrox isn't here. Ezreal just cleared mid wave, and he can run over. Jace is stuck mid. This is, like, the worst time to go for vision. So his GA gets popped instantly. Like nothing has happened yet. Smoothie's still full HP. Akkadian and Sven are still full HP as well. Then they win this fight. Imagine if this fight started without Leeson's GA popping. Look at Phoenix. Holy crap, dude, this guy's a monster. Look at this rise. This is a Nocturne ulti, by the way. He walks into the bush, chunks TK, dodges the Ord ulti. He's in front. He's still in front. Gets exhausted, flash cleanse. Going forward. Damn, he just really shit on that fight. Wow. So they finally do have some control. Aatrox face checks. Rush dies. What's where's Orin? Can Orin not go with Oh, so they're scared of I really over chase. So Rush dies again.
Rush does seem a little disconnected from the team in terms of getting vision in a calculated, controlled way. And TSM just starved Aaron off with this. So they get some vision. There's still a Warden Pixel. Lissandra's in base, so maybe looking for, yeah, TP. So good turn. Honestly, that was... They're one of two teams that have a successful Baron turn right now. So TL had a successful Baron play where they got full control of Baron. They were only up like a few thousand gold and they took control of the game. They don't take Baron off of that. I guess not. But hey, it was successful. They got them to walk into the walk into a choke, Lissandra TP. They got enough vision, didn't clear everything, but they didn't start Baron with the intent of finishing it. That was clearly a turn situation. Another dragon. So this is... So two for one, that's really good. You go for the rise TP. Wait, how did Orn not go through? What? No way. What? Wait, that's like a game ending glitch. That's a remake. That's definitely a remake. One for three. Nocturne does die, so maybe no Baron, but that's such, that's too insane. If Orn goes through, I don't know, maybe they still die, but. They start Baron, Rush is here. Aatrox is coming. Rush just gets blown up. Was that just Ezreal damage? Wow. Rush is dead again. Phoenix is insane on this champion. Actually, 1v9. Jace is here. Rush is coming. Sven is so hard carrying right now. They do get the Baron. This is an extremely messy game. Kind of disappointed in the macro. When you pick, I've said this a thousand times, but when you pick a 1-3-1, one, one, you want it to be low kill count. You want it to be really oppressive, win the game through vision. They, especially if you have it with Ezreal, so you have mid control as well. You have control of mid, you have, can push in side lanes all the way to turrets, you have the tools to get full vision in either side of the jungle. So play towards vision, make calculated decisions, and the fact that they've died 17 times this game is so unacceptable. 1-3-1 one one should be super calculated. You, you make the best decisions because you have so much information, because you have all the information and they don't. So the decisions that they make should be risky and the decisions that you make should be clean and calculated 
So it does look like they're going to win this game. TP coming in. This Ezreal's a monster. And they get the four dragon elder. All right, well, that was a very disappointing game in terms of just macro. Sven hard carried for sure. That's pretty unacceptable from just both teams. Rush went in by himself so many times to get vision. That bot lane play from TSM, they just didn't have enough information to make the play and and they overextended a lot. Like they burned the Aatrox ulti, Aatrox flash. That's great. That Aatrox is useless now for what, two minutes? And then he's still not going to have flash for another three minutes after that. You'll be able to get the turret. Turn that into vision. Prioritize vision when you're in a 1 3 1. I think G2 is insanely good at this. Shulk was really good at, good at it as well. You can watch any of those games. I have VOD reviews of them online. Shulk and G2, they both know how to one through one They both know that when you one through one it's not kill-hungry. It's vision-oriented, and then you just take turrets for free. You choke them out, steal their jungle, slowly win the game. It's oppressive. It's not explosive. But TSM did have a good turn on Baron. But then... Yeah, so sloppiness ensued. So yeah. Week 2, so there is a lot of time to improve, but I do want to see some cleaner play.